I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! This song is about where we are right now. The world's longest running comedy music concert series is back. Having a good MarsCon? <laughs> Fantastic. MarsCon 2024 is taking place March 8th through 10th at the Hilton Minneapolis St. Paul Mall of America Hotel in Bloomington, Minnesota. Oh, I just did the thing where I ad lived so long that it got awkward. Have fun and get wasted. Tell me more. This year's event will have performances by The Great Luke Ski, TV's Kyle and Linzilla, Insane Ian, Power Sally. Meow Me, Nuclear Bubble Wrap, Holy Bong Water, Scooter Picnic, Jake Dewar, and this year's comedy music guest of honor, Cartoon Network legend Andy Merrill, the comedian behind the demented sensation that is Brack. I like hub cows, I like laundry, I like waffles, I like ant farms, I like reset, picnic, and eating pork and beans. Registration for a weekend badge is $70. To pre-register and for more info on MarsCon, visit MarsCon.org. Moisture, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> I'm going to write my mom tonight. What did you do today, Bonnie? I drank water. Everyone screamed moisture at me. It was great. It's a, it's a bit. <laughs> but whether you're attending or not, you can still help out by ordering the MarsCon 2024 Comedy Music Track Fundraiser Album. Available as an MP3 download for $30. It's just under four hours of highlights from all the live concerts of MarsCon 2023. <laughs> so, Bryn, hey, yes. next year when you're editing the Fundraiser Album, uh-huh. the most important thing you remember is to include this clip of me right here telling you to put this in the Fundraiser Album. This year's album includes comedy music by MarsCon 2023's music guest of honor, Bonnie Gordon. Acknowledged. Sing with me just for today. Maybe tomorrow Kayla's will take you away. If you'd like to hear a free 30-minute preview of the collection, there's a link to download that at our website. I don't know what I'm recommending you do. I have no good advice for you, but they gave me a microphone, so it makes my opinion sound important. You can order and download the album right now from the shop page at MarsConComedy.com. That sounds like a brilliant idea. I forgot my emotional support spatula at home. Thanks for listening, funny music fans, and we hope to see you all at MarsCon 2024. Thank you, MarsCon. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week we are reacting to Adequate Wordsmith, the follow-up to Amateur Wordsmith by The Stupendium, to continue celebrating their one million subscriber uh, milestone. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician. I react exclusively to comedy comedy music, because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way, so that I'm not talking over the, or laughing over the jokes and missing them in the lyrics, because lyrics are important in comedy music. Uh, this way I can help uh, discuss how the video and lyrics work in tandem to help amplify the jokes. Sometimes it's even explaining the jokes, because that seems to be fun for everybody. And sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in right to this. I am getting through this intro rapidly, uh, because, uh... The last video by the Stupendium, Amateur Wordsmith, the remake, the 2024 remake that they just did to celebrate 1 million subscribers, took me 50 minutes. It's a 50 minute video uh, as a reaction to a 8 minute song, or 7 minute plus a 120 minute outro. Uh, so this is another 8 minute or so song, so we may be running into the same problem here, so... Uh, Got a lot to do. Let's dive in. I, I have to say, I like the newish logo where everything swoops away and turns into the S, uh, including starting with the mustache. It's an interesting idea. I dig it. That's a lot of lights. Mm-hmm. 
Stupendium did say this is their most expensive music video, so. Nice outfit. Way back in 2016, <laughs> I went up and did tea about the rapper I was clearly just pretending to be. They rented a Lambo. No wonder it's expensive. Uh, so yeah, 2016 is when the original Amateur Wordsmith came out about the rapper they were pretending to be, which obviously they have proven to be more than amateur, but uh, adequate, I don't know if is an adequate enough word for how good the stupendium is, but yes. But I think I've been improving pretty evidently yes. And there's a million people out there who tend to agree <laughs> There's a million people out there that would tend to agree Yes, a million subscribers Congratulations again, that's incredible uh, And also a, mi a, a million glasses You know, just not a million pairs of glasses But glasses that say a million on them You know, how people have, like, especially since the new millennium uh, glasses to celebrate the new year at the 200 and then another number over here. We did that a lot in the early aughts. Um, but to have that be a million with uh, the circles here uh, being O's and then two O's on each side and a one and an exclamation point to kind of keep it symmetrical. Why not? It looks good. Million. It's a big number. I'm saying obvious stuff right at the beginning. Give me a break. Now who am I to attest that I am really clearly the best of rhyme When I've been left behind us on the test of time Success we test and we'll get to find Don't fall be it from me to come and claim superiority My visitor hit the million quite plainly a majority Okay, uh, gonna flex on them right from the start, right from jump Love that Uh, yes, and uh, very true The The videos of theirs that hit a million views or a majority of their videos, especially the more recent ones, uh, that is impressive and uh, awesome and obvious. You know, it's about time they got a million subscribers to go with the million views each video gets, the well over a million views each video gets. So yes, impressive, cool. I'm gonna rewind it just a little here because oh, that whole section was ten seconds of fast rapping. Cool. It's true. And oh, honestly, did you not check the policy is a reference to uh, the, uh, the fine print, I'm pretty sure. Um, the company policy. Yes. They put the dollar in idolatry. That's a great bar. Anyway. Historically, you probably have had memes on TikTok of me extolling on the horrors of a corporate economy. So you sit back and have a listen, let me have a moment. I truly haven't had a minute yet to have a go. What? Two and I could rap a bit. I'm penning bars and flow. Just like Alexander XP Braggadocious. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> Super califragilistic XB braggadocious. Yes, they're saying in this song uh, they don't really have many opportunities other than the first song that they did to to brag about themselves in song form, to bra to rap as themselves rather than playing the characters that they always play in the other songs. People who are, you know, the the capitalists and economists and all the different types of characters that are uh, you know playing against type of who Stoops is and uh, you know getting to, to play the role as themselves in this song and be a little braggadocious like a lot of rap can be uh, like I said in the previous video there are still songs that do kind of the things that there are the tropey bits that Stoops pointed out in that song but a lot of it is you know varying degrees of braggadociousness as well unless you're playing as a character or rapping about a specific topic other than yourself um, and you know having that kind of braggadocio for a song is you know kind of a staple in the genre uh, especially when following up amateur with adequate um, and I mentioned it last time MC front lots got braggadocio as a song too uh, where you know it kind of makes fun of the the braggadociousness of of hip-hop in itself great I love meta humor stuff like that Ambrosius, the positive, ambrosius, the quality, ambrosius, the sorest, adiposis. 
I need to take that back a little because those were big words and I didn't know what they meant, but thankfully definitions were on the screen. Hooray. Also, wait a second. I'll take it back here a little a little further here. The penguins from Mary Poppins. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, where that is from. Those animated penguins uh, kind of dressed up like Stupendium. Instead of an S, it's a P for penguin, but also in the orange outfits. I see what you did there. Reference. Um, yeah. Negotious. Adjective. Rare. Engrossed in business. Fully employed. Busy. Active. Stoops is always very busy, always working on these videos. This song, this video, was filmed months ago. Um, in Las Vegas. Rented a room in Vegas. I watched the short. I watched the YouTube short on how it's the most expensive video they've done. Uh, verbosity. The quality or state of being verbose. The use of more words than are necessary. Prolixity, wordiness, verbiage. Yes, all of those mean verbose. Uh, and have verbosity. Uh, verbosity, sometimes. Uh, yes. Velocious, rapid, fast, with great speed, obviously. Verbosity, velocious, meaning quickly using a lot of words. Ambrosious, ambrosial, immortal, divine, of things belonging to the gods. You know, only slightly made up to fit a rhyme scheme. <laughs> I like how that little note at the end of that definition is there, because ambrosia would be the food of the gods. Um, sometimes it's called the nectar of the gods, ambrosia, which, you know, is... A, it's a food. Um, but am calling something ambrosious would have the qualities of ambrosia, and therefore... You know, being ambrosial. Not technically a thing, kind of just made up to fit the rhyme scheme, which a lot of rappers do. Thesaurus adiposus, uh, the property of excessive fatness. <laughs> is saying his thesaurus is thick. <laughs> Meaning, goes in there, they, they, their thesaurus, bleh, their thesaurus is thick, and so they go into it uh, to use a lot of uh, words. There's a lot of thesaurus usage and a lot of synonyms in said thesaurus that they're using. Bleh. I think that's one of the first times uh, we've uh, heard Stupendium swear in their own song. Uh, most of their songs tend to be relatively clean um, on their bars. On guest bars, they've sworn, um, but it, this is the first time I've, I've heard them, and even the lyric was, was bleeped itself. Uh, somebody said on the last song, uh, they swore, I don't, and technically that might not be a swear either, because if you can say it on TV, it doesn't count anymore, and bitch and shit don't count as swears anymore, honestly, you've been here on TV for years, so maybe, maybe not. Your mileage may vary. Other such idioms. Um... <laughs> There's always that that trope, that meme of everybody knows what uh, mitochondria is. It's the powerhouse of the cell, C E L L, the cells that make up the body, but. They're saying they're the powerhouse of the cell, S-E-L-L, S-E-L-L, -L, not C-E-L-L, -L, uh, meaning, uh, you know, they're making money making their songs. Um, there is mitosis and Moses couldn't split it so well, you know, splitting by mitosis and Moses parting the Red Sea, both things that have split things. Great stuff. <laughs> Made millions, and then hyperbole definition pops up. Uh, exaggerated statements or claims not meant to be taken literally, often for impact or comedic effect. Uh, yes, uh, hyperbole, which most people would look at that word and think it me it's it's pronounced hyperbole. Uh, comedian Brian Regan has a special called the epitome of hyperbole. 
it's the epitome of hyperbole, but words be not being pronounced the same way because phonics is a thing, um, calls it the epitome of hyperbole. I enjoy that kind of punnery. Because they're in confirmed, they felt they had to confirm it. Bravo. <laughs> Don't know why, uh, I mean, hey, you know, every, everybody's got their own thing, but uh, feeling like they, they're inadequate, uh, not in, uh, what was the word, it just said it. It, because they're insecure. I don't know why they might feel insecure. Everybody tells them they're amazing. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, man. Production value, obviously, you know, going to location to be in Vegas for this. Uh, in the, the, all the lights and everything. And also that suit. That's an amazing custom-tailored suit. Full of LEDs that lights up the suit itself. I'm going back and forth between the lyrics and the video itself, uh, which is what I do. It's uh, what this show is, I guess. Um, uh, holy crap is all I have left to say is holy crap. Man, uh, a reference to Rap God, which they themselves have, have uh, I think, had referenced to them before. A lot of people, at least I've seen online, uh, say that, uh, you know, the, the fast section in Amateur Wordsmith has more rhymes and beats per second than Rap God's section does. Um, so I, it even was, I think, left in the comments of my last reaction to that. Uh, so yes, must the references must be made. Holy crap, gotta take it back. Beats off, but they'll never make their tracks dirty. Um, obviously, that's a, a ribald pun that I won't go into describing here, but saying the, the beat is off, meaning the, the drum, the rhythm track, is not in that section of the song, but uh, they'll never make their tracks dirty, meaning stupendium will never make their tracks dirty, because stupendium uses they-them pronouns, uh, never make their tracks dirty because beats off. I'm not spelling it out for you, but I've just spelled it out for you. Uh huh. They'll never make their tracks dirty. Rocked up to the paper, but talk listening. I gotta go through a couple of this. Rocked up to the strip with my duds all glistening. Got more drip than octuplet crystling. Octup. Octuplet christenings. I can't even say it slow, and they're rapping it fast. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you, you know, you ever forget to pay your mouth bill? Yeah. Um, so, octuplet christenings. Got more drip than octuplet christenings is an amazing bar. Uh, an octuplet is, well, <laughs> octuplet christenings, meaning somebody had eight babies, and christenings, meaning you have to get clothing for all eight babies because they're, you know, especially, you know, nice outfits because you'd take them to get christened. It's a church thing. Eight kids, more drip than eight kids getting christened. And also, uh, christened sometimes is, that's more baptism. That's dripping water. That's kind of where my head went, but maybe not the same thing here. I'm not a very religious person, but I kind of know a little bit of it. I went to Catholic high school. Um, so, yeah. Bar. <laughs> Guttering ripped and it's thundering drizzling. Uh, I don't get that one. Um, uh, the guttering, I guess, like the gutters of your house, maybe, but also something else. One gets dripped every youngster's dribbling, obviously. Oh, okay. Talking about the octuplets again, I guess. Pack more paper than Dunder Mifflin. 
that's a great bar too to fit in with that same rhyme scheme. Obviously, Dunder Mifflin being the uh, place of business of the office, uh, either uh, the American version. I don't remember if that was the name of the company in the British version. I never watched the the British version, um, but uh, I would assume so. Um, but uh, Dunder Mifflin is a real company that makes paper now because of the office. Bar so hard that my puns need chiseling. Hard like stone. Chiseling the stone. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pack more paper in, you know, packing paper obviously meaning having money, but also paper like Dunder Mifflin. That's where the... You get it. Did they fly out their mum to Vegas for that bar just for that one shot? It'd be amazing if it's true. The ladies, the gays, and the theys want to play, but mum's here visiting. That's an amazing line. And there she is waving, I hope that's actually their mother. That is hilarious and amazing. Green with envy, call it verdigree burns. Generally, you would call it third degree burns, but verdigree is a way of saying green. Ver verde is, is green in French, and verdigree is some sort of amalgamation or other pronunciation of green in another language along those lines, I think. Just guessing from the root terms there and definitions that I know. Excuse me. Butter puns. Milking it, you you when you milk it, and he, he made the mo they made the motion of milking, and then uh, you churn milk into butter. They're buttery smooth, and I've churned the rhymes. Puns. My similes and metaphors are intricately clever. Yours are lacking rhymes, are flagging like you've written them in semaphore. I'm chilling on the. I don't know what semaphore is. I'll just. That's a bar that I missed, just because I don't know that word. Moving on. Pedal more. Um, pedal your wares to make sales, obviously. Yeah, I'm doing a whistle break. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted something to spice things out before the bridge starts. Oh, here we go. Nice. All these years chasing meaningless numbers, hoping to flee from this feeling of numbness, trying to drown all my doubts and my fears in the light of the flame. Or oh, getting a little melancholic for this bridge. Why not? I'm sure it'll pay off. It always does with stupendium songs. Eternity now, my self-worth has been tied to the number of characters you have to type into YouTube before it can guess you were writing my name. <laughs> Was it worth all the work and the stress and the pain? All the worries that lack and obsess in my brain? Ooh. Seriously, really nice bars in there. Was it worth all the work and the stress and the pain? All the worries that lurk and obsess in my brain. Man, just carrying that triple rhyme scheme through. So good. So good. <laughs> yeah, working a lot of late nights because of all the amazing production that they do on all these songs. Incredible. I could go find a nine. So there's a... a, a a line going back there, and the reflection is singing the other backing vocals behind this. We're gonna have to go over this section a couple different times. Uh, that's impressive. I could go find a 9 to 5. Be bored, but maybe I'd survive. 
More than another year before I fall apart. Wow. Just the layers on this and having the reflection singing those backing vocals behind all of the main lines here, which, you know, I, because I was paying attention to that, was not paying attention to uh, the main lines. All the fatigue and tired, all the ungodly gasms of caffeine required my self-image anxieties I haven't resolved, and the endless offensive of that we involved the unwinnable game of just trying to keep to an algorithm changing its mind every week. Yeah, that's tough to deal with. Um, yeah, we're getting a little existential uh, with with this, as far as like you know, having kind of a a, a, a not really a breakdown, but uh, a musical breakdown, maybe, uh, about, you know, getting to one million subscribers by having to be, for lack of a better term, a slave to the algorithm by trying to chase all the trends and everything and putting so much time and effort into the videos and trying to make sure that your name is getting out there. Um, so yeah, really kind of deep section here, um, but incredible just the same. So we're getting to another one here. So hard to comprehend that their head is covering it. So hard to comprehend that I've felt dead whilst feeling so alive. <laughs> I love my work, but hate the fact it claimed my art. Ooh. Wow. Like, that's, that's deep. That's deep as hell. And then, that's just the backing line. Let's focus on the, the main line here again. All the months spent in crunch is where it starts. And yeah, there's a lot of trying to get things done and ready to meet a arbitrary deadline that you've set for yourself but still want things to be kind of tied in with the chasing trends idea. Yeah, it's a lot to do. The complete dissolution of personal time, yeah. You know, when they, they there's that old, you know, adage of if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, and that's frankly bullshit. Um, it's still work. You love to do your work, but it's still work. It takes time and effort, and sometimes that can be exhausting. And sometimes the, the, the effort sometimes uh, can feel like too much, or sometimes not enough, depending on the response to it. Um, uh, yeah, but you're, you know, you're, you're putting in, you know, you don't want to uh, live to have the right to work, to go back to another stupendium song. Um, so yeah, I can see how that can be tasking to oneself. I make songs about games, but the I, I make songs about games, but the irony's clear. I heard kind of part of this. But I've not actually played one for fun now in years. Uh, to me, that's tragic. Um, they've made these incredible songs about games, about characters, about deep character feelings and what and experiences, and what these characters in these games are going through, and it's kind of like also like these these you know uh, deep dives into. Uh, other characters that one may not really connect with or experience uh, just playing the game and, you know, kind of fleshing out these, uh, like, ideas of, like, the people behind the scenes who are kind of the overlords and masters and evils of the worlds that these games inhabit, and to know that they're doing this sometimes without being able to play the game fully themselves is incredible, but also kind of weirdly tragic. This bridge is getting, understandably, a little sad. Like, you know, I'd like them to be able to play the games that they're doing songs about. Especially since, you know, um, they're already uh, enhancing people who 
uh, people's experiences for the people who have played those games. You know, so many people love the songs that Stupendium does about games. Um, it helps enrich their experiences by having that song go along with the experience that they've played themselves. Um, a lot of times, sometimes it's not always the case, sometimes people just enjoy the song on its own merits. Sometimes I'm one of those people because a lot of the games that they've done songs about I haven't played myself, but I know enough kind of through pop culture osmosis. But, uh, you know, I do know that there are people who enjoy those games who seem to enjoy the songs more because of the shared experience and the things that the songs talk about. So to, to know that Stoops is not able to experience that the same way because they're so busy doing their work, they haven't played a game for fun. I, I feel that. I'm sorry. Yeah, sometimes just the way the algorithm works, job could be instantly nixed. In every video, I strive to leave a piece of me. <laughs> Google could, should they want, kill me off with a click. It's true. Some people's channels, you know, knock on wood, let's hope that doesn't happen to Stoops. Or me, thanks. Because um, channels get hacked, and uh, your livelihood, all your work, all your subscribers could go in an instant. Um, you do what you can to protect it. But sometimes it's just not enough, and, you know, a random rash decision that YouTube can make because of a copyright weirdness can sometimes screw things up. Uh, I know Stoops had a copyright issue uh, a couple months ago where some other company was claiming all of Stoops' songs and trying to get the, the payments from them despite Stoops having the copyright and this other company coming in making false claims. And because of the weird copyright algorithmic uh, checking system that YouTube has, um, it wasn't able to straighten out which was the proper one. Clearly things have been corrected since then, but uh, it was definitely an issue. And uh, the only reason I know about it is I got hit with them because I react to Stupendium stuff. Um, Stupendium is nice enough to allow me to react to their stuff. So that's why I was like, this doesn't seem right, this doesn't seem like it's you, what's going on? So, and they made posts about it too, so. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure all of that is cleared up. Knock on wood, you know. In every video I strive to leave a piece of me inside. How many pieces can I find? Wow. Uh, so much going on in the so many multiple layers of the backing vocals and the, the main vocals. I'm sorry to, to break this down so much in this section, but that's what adds to the time of these videos, apparently, is because I want to find out what all of these things are. I don't do this when I watch songs on my own. Yes, this is a first impression kind of thing, but because of that, and because of the nature of having this deposit, I like diving into it that way. All of you, most of you at least, have at least seen this song before I have, so, you know, I, the reason I do it like this is because I'm trying to point out some things that sometimes other people miss just listening to the song without pausing it all the time. I don't normally consume music this way, but I do it here because I like finding all the things in the first listen. And also it's a reaction show, it's kind of par for the course. I don't know why I'm explaining that right now, like, you know what a reaction show is, but sometimes in the comments, some of you don't. Anyway. Now I'm here at the top, was it worth all of this? Um, yeah, that's, that's a great line to end on all of that with, you know, all the time, the strife, the, the loss of personal time, the, the, the crunch hours, being so involved in your work, now that you've hit a million subscribers, is all of that worth it? Yeah. Yeah, actually, there was. <laughs> I'm in a Lamborghini. I can't even drive. <laughs> And there's the payoff that I was hoping for at the beginning of that bridge when we just started delving into that that kind of melancholic thing that kind of turned more existential, especially with those backing vocals. Um, there's the payoff. Yes, it was worth it. I'm sitting in a Lamborghini and I don't even know how to drive. 
Um, absolutely brilliant. Also, you're in Vegas, where you're from. The steering wheel's on the other side, so it's even crazier. Can't listen to the missive of inadequate words But though the need to sound impressive is quite frankly absurd So if you're a bit indifferent you click the track Here's a few more minutes you won't get back You know I put the sauce in the cans like I'm Heinz Beans New resolution to command your entire screen <laughs> Eating popcorn, watching themself <laughs> uh, Honestly, hashtag relatable uh, yeah, no, I, I, I dig that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes you're your own biggest fan, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some may see that as a little narcissistic, and that's only if you do it to a degree that is problematic. Um, but you have to like your own stuff, I would hope. If you're a content producer and you are producing content, if you don't like the content you're producing, why are you producing it? you kind of have to enjoy what you do and enjoy the stuff that you've done. Um, and sometimes that means sitting and watching your own stuff, listening to your own songs, observing your own art. Um, and, and, you know, to a degree, that's a great thing. But, uh, <laughs> put the sauce in the cans like I'm Heinz beans. It's a good line. It's a good line, you know, a can of beans. It's got the, the sauce in there. Uh, it's great. Put the sauce in the cans like I'm Heinz Beans. New resolution to command your entire screen. Also, new resolution to command your entire screen. Like a New Year's resolution, a resolution somebody makes to uh, better themselves. They resolve to do this. But a resolution, you know, re resolve to do this. But also resolution meaning screen resolution. Your new, you know, your entire screen. The resolution it means how clear the picture is. Doubles. Get it. You won't take a rest improvising a line spree. Drop off the cuff and escape from the crime scene. Oh. <laughs> improvising and drop off the cuff. When you're improvising, it's... The, what you're saying is not written beforehand, it's off the cuff. It's improvised, so when you drop off the cuff, that's great. Crime scene, rhyming with rhyme scheme, ah, oh, so good. Who's all flake when they're faced with my rhyme schemes? 99 problems, yeah, my van's out of ice cream. Flows. <laughs> 99 problems, yeah, my van's out of ice creams. <sighs> crime spree, crime scenes... Rhyme schemes, ice creams. <sighs> so good. So good. Got your froze as you stand in the hard beam, struggling to take it all in. Size queen. Linguistic. <laughs> oh, some amazing bars there. Uh, I gotta take it back a little. Uh, Flows got you froze as you stand in my high beams. Uh, like like a deer in the headlights, the deer freeze when they see the headlights because of an oncoming car. Frozen the high beams, deer in the headlights. That's a good line. But this last bar of this verse is one of the. It's one of my favorite bars Stoops has ever written because it is just amazing innuendo. Struggling to take it all in. Meaning, uh, you finding it difficult to absorb all the flows that has froze you, but also struggling to take it all in is a double entendre that could mean something else. Meaning, uh, it, things are large, and there are people who enjoy things that are large, and they are called size queens. I know, I'm married to one, but they're having that line being with the struggling to take it all in further illustrates that innuendo. Good times. 
Basically, I get them in hysteric. The folks who write the dictionary of reference in my lyrics. <laughs> The folks who write the dictionary are referencing my lyrics, or dictionary, if we're going to try to squeeze it in by altering the pronunciation again. Um, and uh, uh, their lines are putting folks in hysterics. Absolutely. Uh, fan they haven't said this line yet, but I'm seeing the lyrics on the screen. Pork toes go ham. The puns. The puns. I'm telling you. A portmanteau, P-O-R-T manteau, is a French word for combining two words to make another word. Um, going ham means it's, you know, it's an expression sometimes used in hip-hop, but just a general slang expression meaning to go hard, to go heavy with something. Sometimes people call it hard in the pate, but going ham. So, the portmanteau has been combined with actual ham, pork manteau. <coughs> yeah. True. <sighs> Getting fast again. Take it back. The Godfather of Verse. Write lines that are quite hard to traverse, especially when they wrap them fast. This connects with the line following it. I slay that they them mayhem every day. They them mayhem. Bravo. Slaying that they them mayhem, meaning uh, being true to their envy selves. Love it. And I'm just starting the hearse. I slay it, literal slaying, killing, kill that mayhem, and I'm just starting the hearse. Meaning, just getting started by driving the car that carries the dead people, or the dead things you just slayed. The mayhem. So much. It's just great. <laughs> this video makes you think I have. I, I live a life of luxury. I'm spending a lot of money. Spending a lot of money, despite the fact that this is all being tax deductible because it's for work, and I'm paying for it for a work music video. <laughs> Love it. Holy crap. That's why everything, you know, using the fake money. It's great. Puns. Forgot to pack a hat to doff, so I've got no way to cap it off. Cap, hat, literal. But to cap it off, to to put the climax on the idea of the song. Um, or, or how to, to, you know, celebrate, cap it off, to celebrate the milestone. It's good stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second. I did The Importance of Being Earnest in high school. It's written by Oscar Wilde. It's a play. Um, it's also a movie. Um, but I've got wild self-importance if I have to be earnest. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. W-I-L-D-E. I almost missed it. I almost missed it. That's just that's just a straight up pun bar. Just only if you know. 
I'm a theater major, man. I know this stuff. Uh, yeah. That wasn't directed at anybody in particular, I just, in general. <laughs> More imperviously wordy than a Catholic service. Yeah, Catholic Mass can go on. Like I said, went to Catholic high school, holy crap. Wasn't a Catholic. I, that's the thing, y'all. I, I, I was raised Presbyterian. I played a Jew on Broadway. I went to a Catholic high school. All of my guilt is borrowed. Delivering prime rhymes like an Amazon purchase. Amazon Prime delivering prime rhymes. So, uh, so much. <laughs> Spit squeaky clean like I snack on detergent. When you're spitting bars, obviously, when you're rapping. But spit so, so clean, it's like I've been eating detergent. A cleaner. That's why it's clean. Tends not to have you too much innuendo or swears in it. Clean. Yeah. Got the beets in the bag, you're a satchel of turnips. It's a good rhyme, but also beets, B-E-E-T-S, meaning, you know, not the beets of the song, but beets the vegetable. Hence why going to a satchel of turnips. Double words. It's spelled differently, means a different thing, sounds the same. That's not a synonym, that's something else. That's an antonym? I don't... Somebody commented in the last video that, you know, sometimes I don't say what the actual words are, I just say the definitions, and because I forget which ones mean what. But that's my problem, not yours. Moving on. A spatula permit to flip the lyrics with, because you you use a spatula to flip food when cooking, like pancakes or, you know, eggs, whatever. Spatula permit. It, uh, I want to see Stupendium Spatula Permit. Can I be honest? Yeah, that's good. Endless bags to the bank. Yeah, I'm practically perfect. Sees the return of the penguins, because Mary Poppins is practically perfect in every way. That's why the penguins from Mary Poppins came back. Yep. <laughs> like a mechanical Kermit with a hand up his circuits. Uh, a surplus of rhymes that you haven't heard yet, so they don't want to go through all the cool rhymes. But there have been so many cool bars here that have all been part of that rhyme scheme. On all of those, including in that. Ha! Yeah, there's no purpose to a mechanical Kermit. That's why the puppeteer is there. Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> they won't notice if I keep repeating adequate wordsmith, says the backing vocals. <laughs> Million subscribers. Wow. wow. Thank you so much. I I'm gonna regret doing this here because it means I'll have to lips. It's imp it's impractical to write more rhymes for adequate wordsmith. Just, I love that it's tiny lyric there, over with the backing vocals there. Uh, so... <sighs> Don't notice if I reuse adequate words. One million subscribers. Wow. Thank you so much. I I'm gonna regret doing this here, because it means I'll have to lip sync it in the video, which will be a nightmare. <laughs> so I'm doing it for you. Because I love you. I'll, uh, see you at two million, I guess. I mean, probably before then, but... Yeah, what I mean. This is no way undermines my skills as an adequate wordsmith. <laughs> That's one of the things I love truly and deeply as a comedy musician, as a fan of comedy music, is when the backing vocals that you're not really paying too much attention to because you're listening to the, the main vocals, the backing vocals have their own jokes separate from the lead vocals. Hiding jokes and humor in those backing vocals is... 
just wonderful. It's one of my favorite things. I do it a lot myself to see something like that, to hear something like that in this song. So incredible. Um, the song seems to be ending and we're at 625, and the that means there's two whole minutes left in this video that may not be song. <laughs> okay. I think part of that is the coins, the stupendi coins that they did to celebrate the 1 million, the 250 they originally made, sold out immediately. Uh, even by the time I reacted to the video, they had been sold out. I think I mentioned that in my reaction. And now they're doing pre-orders, of which there is no limit for new ones that are not signed. But this is to have more coins, because people clearly wanted them, and they're doing very well, from what I understand. Anyway. Uh, oh. Uh, we, we didn't do a fade out, did we? <laughs> self referential comedy I absolutely love it and thanks to all my incredible patrons for making this video possible Vegas has always been a dream place for me to visit and I could not think of a better location to film this frankly ridiculous vanity project wow hashtag not sponsored but an extra special thanks to all the amazing vendors we work with to make this video happen <laughs> not sponsored but thanks to the vendors that made, that made the video happen absolutely <laughs> Royalty Exotic Cars, Red Wall Studio, The Palm Resort, The Neon Museum, Presidential Limousine, and Our Driver Ty, Our Butler James, yes, The Sweet Came with a Butler, and Sir Jan- The Sweet Came with a Butler, holy crap! <laughs> That's spending some serious coin on a video, and it's all tax deductible. That's how you do it. But honestly, that's living the dream right there. <laughs> And it hands it over lighting designs with a stunning light up suit. Now onto a merch promo cleverly designed so I can cut it out later when it's no longer relevant. <laughs> one million subscribers is an incredible milestone. This is the same one as, as the previous and one. what better way to celebrate it than by giving me your money? The some pretend money. <laughs> this was me two weeks ago. <laughs> what an idiot. So it turns out we vastly underestimated demand on the limited edition stupendous. Like I said, 250 we had made sold out in minutes after they went live. So for all the people who missed out, we're going to do a second run. But this second edition will be unsigned and unnumbered to keep the first 250 more special. But they will also be slightly cheaper to reflect that. Oh, well, there you and go. The difference is this time it's going to limit you by quantity. We're going to limit it by time. So pre-orders are open again for the next two weeks. And if you pre-order in the next two weeks, you will get a coin no matter what. Everybody who pre-orders by March 9th gets a coin. That's great. Um, limiting it by time rather than quantity. Brilliant idea. And also to keep the original still more special, they're not signed, they're not numbered. Very cool. Um, if you're interested in that, of course, check out the link in the description to go to this original video to go uh, do, you know, of course, watch the video without me yammering all over it, but also to maybe order a coin if you're interested. And of course, just go sh show Stoop some love as you should. We're going to continue with this, albeit briefly. And after two weeks, the coin is gone forever. So, um, yeah, back, back to the advert. <laughs> now, the stupendi coin. Just it's interrupting the their own advertisement. Buys my approval. Yes. We celebrate with stupendi and stupendi coin. It's not legal tender. It will not be accepted or acknowledged by any global financial authority. Wow, it's like it never even happened. <laughs> wow, it's like it never even happened. <laughs> If you enjoyed my wordsmithing, why not check out its predecessor, Amateur Wordsmith, or the playlist for all of my other songs. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, ring the bell. Amazing. In the meantime, I have a Lamborghini to return. It was fun while it lasted. I have a Lamborghini to return. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Wait a second. I have a Lamborghini to return. It was fun while it lasted. Two million will do a yacht. At two million, we'll do a yacht. We're gonna hold you to that, Stoops. <laughs> By all means, don't feel obligated to do that, actually. But, uh, you said it. Um, that was incredible. The production value was insane because they went on location and they actually got all these things and went all to these places and had a penthouse room with a butler and went to the the neon museum where they're standing in front of the stardust sign and all those other lit up things the custom outfit full of lights just an incredible amount of work and effort and time and money went into this 
and it is clearly a vanity project because it's to celebrate the one million subscribers, but honestly, why not celebrate that kind of amazing milestone? You deserve all of the accolades, Stoops, and congratulations again. Um, and yeah, why not have a vanity project every now and then? Uh, especially when hitting a milestone. Uh, when else are you going to do it? That's great. It's, uh, you know, hardly ever need an excuse. But that was incredible. I really enjoyed that. I hope you all did, too. Roughly running to about the same time the last one did, eh, roughly enough. Um, if you did like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. Go check out the original video in the description box below. And if you really want to help out my channel, like these folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, I have a new song out, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. I don't know how to use the bidet my wife bought And now I'm simply too scared to ask uh, I'd figure it out if I gave it some thought It just sprays water right up your ass Yeah, but what?